Well, good afternoon. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Get Real with it, Rick Dancer. And I'm uh, doing a dual show. That's why you're going to see me looking back and forth like this. I'm not ignoring you. Um, it's just that I'm doing Instagram at the same time that I'm doing Facebook and <clears throat> whatever else, uh, YouTube. Uh, so it's been a crazy day. Um, let's talk. Oh, that's me. Um, what a nutty day. Um, our governor just said that um, <clears throat> gyms could open in Oregon uh, or in our section of Oregon, in our county, um, <laughs> as long <laughs> as there's only six people in the gym if it's over 500 square feet. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> I don't understand. What is the point of opening the gym if you can only put six people in there? What gym owner is can afford to do that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, and then I've got a friend who owns a brewery downtown and he can't open, but the lottery, you can go do lottery. There's a certain number of people that can play the lottery, but you can't, you can't go buy food or beer from the place, but you can go play, play the lottery. <laughs> I had some people on, on one of my posts this morning just beating the shit out of me this morning. Um, I mean, I'm used to it, uh, but they were just super upset. Um, uh, and, and you know what I think is really interesting is whatever happened to um, whatever happened to us being able to just simply disagree? Why did it, when did it be, when did it become all right for people to make you into the enemy um, and try to put you down because they're afraid? And I guess these people, like 85 square foot a person, <laughs> yeah, I'm that exactly. And you have to go, you know, you have to go and measure it all out and everything. It's what Tom, you're right. Tom over here, Tom Hunt says it's micromanaging. It, it really is. You can still go to Costco, which I love going to Costco, but you can't go to your gym and have 500, six people. What if they did six people in Costco? Like you can only have six people in the Costco store. Wouldn't that be kind of the same thing? Um, Brass Monkey, you're right. It's the whole cancel culture because you disagree. Um, I, I just won't play the game anymore. I'm not. I'm, I'm tired of these people trying to cause... Um, it, it just, it uh, doesn't work for me. Hi, two inches of snow and still snowing in Monroe. That's your snow report, everybody. Um, we can talk about anything you want to talk about. I'm just venting a little because it's been one of those kind of days. Everyone does have the right to their opinion and has the right to express that opinion without being bullied, um, by someone. Um, hi, Tina Lee. And over here, I've got people pulling in here. I'm getting all kinds of messages on there. Come to Florida. We're wide open. <laughs> Can I go to the gym in Florida? <laughs> it's all about being in control. You know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Um, I don't think, I don't feel like I am because now that's really bad. You can't talk about freedom. <laughs> you can't use the word freedom, uh, conspiracy. Um, what, what else are the words you can't use? Um, yeah, you guys give me some of the ones you know of you. So you can't use conspiracy. You can't use freedom and all of a sudden, or you're thrown into a camp where you probably don't belong and drives me crazy. Um, and all of these places install rolling garage doors and open them up a while. Yeah, that's right. I, but, but I think they're broke. Like I think most of the gyms are practically broke because they don't have anybody in there. Life is far too short to pay games. You just have to agree with everything I believe in. To me, that's the beauty of life. We're not all drones. <laughs> oh, brass monkey, you're supposed to believe everything I tell you. Multiple accidents on Highway 22 between Salem and Independence. Oh, from the snow, Tom? See, I'm in downtown Eugene, and we have nothing. I don't know what we have at home. I know I heard there were some in other parts of the area. Did you hear that Fauci is now telling people to wear two face masks? <laughs> Stacy, don't toy with me. You're just trying to make me angry. No, Rick, submit to big government. Government will take care of you. Freedom is dangerous. Oh, you know what I did? So I was looking on the New York Times bestseller list. Oh, Liberty, Eric, that's another one. You can't say Liberty. Um, and I saw 19, or George Orwell's 1984, so I bought it. Um, 
father, mother, <laughs> yeah, yeah. uncle, cousin, aunt, <laughs> conservative. <laughs> you shouldn't say liberal either. Um, can you say patriot? <laughs> no, you can't say that. Um, my friend did today at the airport. Did what today at the airport? I, I have to keep along here. My daughter can go to the gym in Florida. Oh, glorious, shut up. <laughs> You Floridians, you don't take this seriously. In Oregon, we take everything seriously. Election fraud, yeah, yeah, that's a no-no too. Um, Schumer can say erection, though. I can say erection. 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 I can say erection. <laughs> Every man can say erection. We have snow in Benita. Cassie, that's so awesome. Hi, Rick. Hope all's going. Yeah, it's it's going. It's all right. We're we're living. Um, uh, let's see. Vanita has snow. Past five days have been insane on streaming. I bet, Jared. Zach, let's talk about Springfield School starting in February. But our special needs daughter will not be going to school. They don't have a date for the special ed class. Their priorities are so whacked. I'm happy some kids will be starting to go back. So your daughter who has special needs is not going back. They don't have a schedule for that yet. And special needs kids don't understand. This is the, yeah, I understand. Good. Oh, well, hello, Laura from Ohio. We're getting some snow in parts of Oregon, parts down here on the valley. It has been snowing in Salem and Albany a bit ago. Good. We need to have a, um, yeah, you can't say, you can't say Biden stole it. Yeah, you can't talk about anything like that. Up here in Brownsville, it's coming down in big flakes. <laughs> what, are you talking about yourself again, Matt? <laughs> what the hell are you doing in Brownsville? I don't understand why you're in Brownsville. Two masks is a thing. I'm not wearing two masks. How do you do, do I, even, I don't even think I have two masks. So seriously, people now we're supposed to wear it. Dana, I, I'm not. I'm not making fun. I'm asking. Is that serious? That we're. Is that the new thing that we're supposed to wear two masks? Can't say male or female either. Yeah, that's true. In Ohio, we are eating in restaurants and bars, but curfew is ten. <laughs> we, mommy dearest, won't let us eat in restaurants and time. But there, there are places you can. But there's some really nice outside places, too. The Internet is serious business. I know, Eric, it is. Did you guys see my latest post? <laughs> I got it from some lady online. She has a picture of a guy sitting in, in, a, in an overchair watching the news. And it's saying, what can we do to stop fear, um, stop the fear or something like that? And then the next picture of, is the guy turning off the TV. <laughs> I laugh so hard. You can't say anything about Trump or your band. Bye. You go, Rick. Yeah, we're having fun. Two masks, not sure why. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there has to be a reason. <laughs> I am not wearing two masks. I'm not. I'm sorry. They could scream at me and yell at me. Oh, what else we got on here? Um, uh, the fact that you can get your nails done, your hair done, elective surgery, but no way can our kids go to school in 4J. I'm so sad for the kids. So when is 4J going back? They're not going back on the 4th? Because I heard Springfield's going to start opening up. Highway 20, Corvallis to Newport, Dundee Hill, and the standstill from 2 to 3, snow accidents. Matt says, boys have penises, girls have vaginas. If you can't understand that, you go brain pain. <laughs> you can't say that on, on the internet. Snowing in Springfield. Jared, is it? I'm going to call my wife. I bet it's snowing there. Spitting snow. <laughs> <laughs> is that i'm making fun of you ann ann says it's spitting snow but it's not sticking come on man get the kids back in school <laughs> well yeah okay yeah um it is a mess west of philoma stay out of philoma all you people who are driving to philoma every, everywhere stay out of there um oh jared you're just laughing showing property up in lebanon so, <laughs> so you didn't answer my flake story sh uh, comment. Snow mixed with rain here in Springfield. I'm not wearing two face coverings. Good grief. <laughs> yep, especially on planes and airports. I was on a plane. I've traveled on a plane, and they were really careful. I feel super safe. Wore my mask. I had it on. I mean, you wear it the whole time. And then uh, in the airports and stuff like that, I didn't get it. So 
and I feel safe. Did you see in France, they want you to stay quiet in public? <laughs> what? So somebody on Facebook is saying in France, they want you to stay quiet in public. Why? What, what is COVID like? It, it, does it travel through loud voices? Because I'm in trouble. Is that serious, Tell? Are you for real? Tell me if that's for real. So you're right in every way where Kate Brown has never been or wanted to work out in a public gym. So she thinks therefore no one else should. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Camp Creek and Milliken spitting snow off and on, but nothing sticking. And we need that stuff to stick out there. Of course, if I call him sick, my boss is an asshole. Me. It says two masks are better, but he also said we have to count all deaths as COVID if they had COVID. Okay. Well, he's Dr. Fauci and I'm not. I retired. Um, yeah, Fauci recommended double mask due to new strain being a different size. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Next, we'll be needing respirators. <laughs> not a two mask kind of gal. Oh, this is, you guys see what happens when I don't watch the news. I don't have to know any of this stuff. I'm in thirst and no snow yet. Super sad. Oh, my God. Hi, Michael Weber. Bethel School gave the option to stay in distance learning for at least the crest of this school year, That is, the rest of this school year. That is if the school starts again. Oh, huh. okay. So that's Bethel. And 4J is what? Does anybody know what 4J is? There is a bad logging accident at Gate Creek today and crazy up the river. Okay, so stay away from that area. Best photo of the day is empty chair and pair of mittens and a big Burmese python full of someone. Share it on my page. Don't get pepper sprayed by Ted Wheeler. <laughs> I would have loved to see that. I think, well, I'd do it too. If somebody's going to kind of attacking me, I keep it on me. I would totally use it. I'm not worried about it. I No singing. It is a super spreader. I always sing when I teach. Law, law. Dana's teaching and singing. She does. And she doesn't have a bad voice either. Yep. Seen an article today on Aaron Elizabeth. Huh. The blood bank reminded me of my appointment and I have to wear a mask with my face shield. <laughs> huh. Oxygen mask. That'll be next. Where's my eye roll? I'll do it for you. Two masks. It's already difficult enough to understand. You know what? Maybe we're going to have so many masks on that we won't be able to breathe anymore. <laughs> Uh, that is unbelievably weird. Vanita is white. I know. I saw some pictures, Karen. Somebody was posting pictures out there. It was beautiful. Uh, the snow needs to stay around. My hubby can't drive for Plant Hill, Pleasant Hill kids if school closes. Uh, the nose is the new nipple. You can't show it anymore. <laughs> Tell who are you? You're kind of funny. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to go look you up afterwards. You're kind of funny. I kind of enjoy you. Been snowing since noon in Corvallis. Wow. You guys in Corvallis are getting some snow. We just moved. So sad to leave home, but we had to get away from that crap. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Grants Pass is snowing hard. Oh, that's awesome. So you guys, if you have comments, I'll report them to everybody. No snow in Thurston yet. Just rain. Why not plastic wrap? Oh, Nicole, yeah, we could just wrap our head in plastic. That's a great idea. You guys are so bright and brilliant. What have I done all day without you? It's kind of fun just to laugh and smile a little bit, but I will probably get beaten to hell by this. I tell you, you know what? It's like people just um, snow in Cheshire. It's been snowing in Albany since 1.30 and sticking. Can anyone tell what is happening with weather north of Roseburg? Um, you mean just now? So is anybody on, on here from Roseburg? Uh, there's snow in Cheshire, Darcy says. Um, we're looking for a weather report from uh, Roseburg. It's been snowing in all, oh, that's, I'm sorry. I just saw that. Snowing in Sodaville. I love Sodaville. You guys, that's, I love Sodaville. Snowing in the hills of Junction City uh, from Oak Ridge, but wintering in, in, um, in Arizona. BPA plastic. <laughs> and some of you guys are troublemakers and you're trying to get me in trouble. Have you watched BSMD? I don't know what that is, but no, so obviously I haven't, but what is it? 
um, Oakland here, no snow, no snow in Oakland, Oregon. So that's just north of Roseburg. Thank you, Abby, for your weather report. Abby's our new weather woman in Oak Ridge um, and or in Oakland. And Kristen Smith, also reporting from Roseburg Live, says it's not snowing in Roseburg either. We're just no snow accumulating in West Fur. We're just now starting to accumulate snow. So we got West Fur snowing, wind blowing so hard the snow has sideways here in Brownsville. Seriously, Jim? We have a blizz we have blizzard conditions in Brownsville. Check out our triplecheck.com for cameras if you need. All right, Ryan, do you work for TripCheck? Is that who you work for? Roseburg is raining pretty good and some snow flurries. Um, okay, be careful in Brownsville. We have blizzard conditions. <laughs> well, we all get excited when it snows. Yeah, you know why? Because we'd rather be snowed on than dumped on. <laughs> <laughs> Even a snow, being dumped on by snow is better than bullshit. Biohazard suits are next. Oh, London, there you go. Now you're causing more problems. You're going to get me in trouble. Yeah, we're going to go from two masks to now biohazard suits. Snowing in Kaiser. We got a report from Kaiser. That's great. You guys, I can only do this till like 4 or 15 because I'm getting a haircut tonight. Reporting just the facts, hard to come by these days. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if these are just the facts, Abby. I was, a con I was. Uh, somebody saw that I, I I've been tell, been told all morning that I have a big ego and I'm just out to, to push my own agenda, which I, I'm trying to figure out what my agenda is, but that's true. Um, it's not true. I don't. It, yeah, that's what I've heard. Rain and drain, Charlene. That is so cute. You are a poet, and we didn't know it but your feet show it because they're long fellows. <laughs> That's what my dad used to say to me. Um, blizzard in Crooked River Ranch. Kathy, be careful over there. Dana's just laughing at me. Nope, six feet per 500 or bigger. We think she's trying. Okay, so I, I have, I think we have confirmation that the governor's asinine, complete asinine alleged opening of the gyms is for six people in 500 square feet or more. So if you have a 5,000 square foot gym, which somebody wrote me today that they're going broke and they have one, you can only put six people in the whole freaking gym. So who's gonna hire an employee? Um, it, it uh, oh my God, it's insanity. I love your weather report. Thank you, Susie. We are professional here, if anything. Um, and we get, look at, we have people from all over. If you watch KDCI, all you get is whoever it is. I don't even watch it anymore. Um, now own coffee shop, just used it often to check road conditions. Oh, Ryan, what's the name of your coffee shop? You should promote it here. You should blatantly whore it right here on my place because people like to know new places to go. And do you have good coffee? Um, because that's really important. What she's not feeling gruesome news, feel it. Now, a following you met, um, Albany, we got snow. Gloria's got laughing. Nothing going on in Arkansas. Thank you, Donna. Um, following nothing. I, I knew what you were saying. I knew what you were saying. Hair looks past due. Hey, Tom, I'm getting a haircut in, in 25 minutes. See, see why people say, you know, God, Rick, all they do is people talk about your hair. Snow in Portland. And then, you know, and then I get uh, Eugene Weekly, you know, makes rude comments about my hair. <laughs> it's like, see, I have to keep it up because my viewers are, you guys are just, you pick on me. Dave Villanueva, snowing crazy at Hoodoo, waxing up the board for tomorrow. Oh, my God, that sounds so good. That, that would be a fun day. Look at all the gorgeous hair you have. Thank you, Susie. Tom, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Tom says I'm past due. Susie says I have gorgeous hair. So, Tom... I grew up with, and I'm, I grew up there. I'm the boy's age. We all used to go back in the day. Forever military life. Facebook TV now. More freedom. Yeah, more freedom to get in trouble. Um. Wow. What bull? 
<laughs> Shit. Josie, I'll fill it in for you. You're talking about the jibs, right? <laughs> it's that's called that's in the in, in the in the modern day language, <clears throat> that would be called pandering. <laughs> the news is bogus. Here, I don't even watch it. I did have a a person walked up to me. Um, and I won't tell, I won't, it doesn't matter. But this guy said, he said he saw an interview we did with someone talking about COVID and it was a different opinion than what you see all the time. And, and so he called up KZI. This is his story. I don't know if this is true or not, but he said he called him up and said, and got the news director and said, yeah, you should interview this guy, Rick Dancer had on blah, blah, blah. The news director allegedly said to him, um, we don't do anything Rick Dancer does. <laughs> And that's why Rick Dancer does what he does and gets 400,000 views in 28 days. Maybe you guys ought to start doing some other things besides just the things that you're being fed on the wire. Use trip check on highway conditions. Currently, lots of red boxes showing accidents. Okay, so be careful if you're going home. Um, pass to Kathy, you're talking about my pass to Where You know what? I'm not taking anything off the top. I'm just going to get the sides done, like my undercut, you know, all the way up get the beard trimmed a little bit, that kind of stuff. Fast lane coffee and Thurston, great coffee and amazing espresso milkshakes. The lane. Okay. Ryan is just, he's one of our viewers. And so if you guys are out in Thurston, fast lane coffee, he's the man. What's up, Rick podcast is pretty cool so far. Oh, thanks. I am just learning. I'm figuring it out. The hardest thing for me is um, that you guys aren't there. I could put this on the podcast and that would be way more fun. Um, uh, and I'll probably will. I'll probably shove this over on there. Rick is jealous of your impeccable hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And probably the number of views we get <laughs> versus, and, you, you know, I thought it was really funny because in their article, they said I was handing out bad information. And I thought, oh my God, <laughs> from the paper that your own readers say the thing they don't like the most about you is you're so biased. <laughs> it's like, thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. Having a good hair day. Oh, they're bugging me, Jennifer, about my hair. So I'm getting a haircut. I'm going over to Mario's at 20 after and getting a haircut. Are you on TikTok? You're the gray version. I don't know who that is, and I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> I tried it, and I couldn't do it. I really like your hair and beard. Thanks, Ginger. At our age, any hair is good. Case, it's not like we're dead. <laughs> How are you doing, Rick? Dakota, I am doing well. I hope you're doing good, too. I'm sorry. I miss, I agree. Gorgeous. You might just need a trim. I'm getting a trim. <laughs> well, and I, and the days, do you guys do that? The days you don't, the days you get your hair cut, I don't do as much like, you know, I don't put as much product, product in it. I'm just kind of like, meh, you know. Uh, thanks from Street Home. Michael, you're welcome. I'm glad we're fun. Um, I don't watch news anymore. I don't, yeah. I wear a ponytail and my wife trims my neck. I too am past due lockdowns. Um, hi from Rose. Hi, Ashley. There's Roseburg. Love fast lane. Oh, to see Ryan. There's one of your clients right there. Dane is my friend and she goes to your coffee shop. She lives out that area. So I'm, I've got people buzzing on my phone. You get that a lot. You guys, my wife, one day she looked at my phone because I have like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people in here. And they, she goes, oh my God, you always have that. Yeah, Casey gets many of their stories from my group, but they won't do what you do. I know. I know. Well, they get a, they do get stories from me too, because I'll have people, people talk and I'll do something. And then they call, they tell me, oh yeah. And then the news called after you had it on your show, then all the stations on the news call. So I know they're watching and I've had the reporters come up and say, oh, hey, yeah, we, we watch your stuff. <laughs> so I know they do. I don't care. I'm not here for them. I, I don't care if they do. I don't have anything against them. Um, I just think we should do everything. I, the people were asking me the other day, what's the difference between journalism today and thank you, Brenda, and journalism in the past. And in the past, what we had to do is both sides of a story. You would never get away with Stephanopoulos, what he did the other day to Rand Paul um, when he was asking him questions and calling him a liar. I mean, you, you can't, you don't do that as a reporter. You don't, that's not your job. Um, it, it's just crazy. It's just insane. Better protection, simple yet effective. It's not 100%. For, but Rose, two masks? I don't, I can hardly handle one mask. I don't, how do you do two masks? 
That's insanity, in my opinion. Um, no, but you should appreciate it. My Rick is losing his. Oh, I love my hair. <laughs> I'm really glad I have it, especially when I run. Um, you know, I'm glad to have my beard and my hair. So it's uh, it's good. Hey, friend, hope all is well. Hey, Joe, haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, things are okay. Um, we're doing pretty well. We're hanging in there. Um, don't go to pizza place to get your hair done. <laughs> Mario's Mario's not a pizza place. He, God, come on, man. He's renegade barber company, man. Okay, now hold on. My son is 29 and you interviewed him at age six at Shopco about school clothes shopping. You asked him if he liked corduroys and the response was, I don't know him, but I know who Michael Jordan is. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Darcy's kid. When I interviewed him when he was a little kid, he was six. And I asked him if he liked corduroys, you know, the pants. And he said, I don't know him, but I like Michael Jordan. <laughs> God, that is so priceless. I love that. Um, when are you coming to Halfway Oregon? Becky, I just, we, Kathy and I want to get the hell out of here so bad. I would, I, I would. I'd sell my left nut <laughs> to, be, to be in halfway Oregon right now. <laughs> but that's, there's a picture. Rick, imagine doing the news with your current style in the 90s. Oh, my God. Yeah, have a good day. You're welcome. Um, I have it on VHS tape. Oh, do you seriously? You should try to transfer it and put it online. Unfortunately, I had to accept the bald look earlier than I expected. You know, bald, though, bald with beards. Dudes that have bald with beards. Girls really dig that, and probably dudes do too. I don't know. But, I mean, I think that's a really cool look. Um, anyway, exactly. I love when Rand Paul called him out, though. I did too, um, just because you don't you do not do that. You do not do that. That's not a reporter. Um, that is not a reporter. Luckily, we have a lot of beauty in Oregon to do outdoor things. In fact, that the businesses are suffering and people without jobs. That's just not okay. I agree. Stephanopoulos, yeah, he, he's, oh, I don't know how he kept, keeps his job. That's crazy. We really do like your look. Just have to give you a tough time. Oh, you know what? You guys can always tease me about my hair, my beard. Um, you know, with a bald head, I consider it a solar panel. <laughs> you know? Both sides of the story. Imagine that. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh my God. Many first responders were wearing two masks before already. Ninth cloth. Uh, paper to help to extend to wear the mask. Now there are, oh, yeah, but I don't know. Okay, I maybe I'm saying too much. I don't know. I, I haven't heard the facts and the information, but, um, you know, I, I said, never mind, never mind. Why can't you move to where you want to live? Because I have to work. <laughs> I'm not retired yet. <laughs> Yes, I can do this from anywhere, but it's kind of like it's an Oregon thing and it's kind of the Rick Dancer thing. That's what you're banking off that name. And so I kind of can't just go pop up in Idaho somewhere and do this. My husband just said, you are a better looking guy. Can you cook? <laughs> no, no. Okay, Anna, let me get this straight here. My husband just said, you are a better looking guy. And I don't know what that word means. I'm looking. Can you cook? <laughs> is he proposing to me? Because <laughs> I have nothing against that, but it's your husband. I don't know what you guys do. <laughs> but I don't I don't swing that way. <laughs> it's so, I'm so over the mask and Kate Brown needed needs booted. Um, okay, okay, hold on. Bald with beard for sure. Um, out of the mouse of babes. Beard is good, yes. Beard game is strong, although a little gray. Ryan, are you an ageist? Are you belittling me for the color of my of my beard? <laughs> we miss you in class. I miss you too, London. I miss going to a class. Rick Dan, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> Have you seen the things I said online before? Like, fuck. <laughs> that kind of disqualifies me for some people. Means if you can cook, you are perfect. <laughs> I, I can't cook and I'm not perfect. My wife would definitely tell you that. If it wasn't for OJ, no one would know Stephanopoulos. Exactly. 
It is raining up your way. It's gloomy and cold here. Yeah, it's raining. I get they have snow some places, Ashley. They've got it. That's we had some snow reports earlier. We can't compare him to Guy Fieri. You guys, who is Guy Fiera, Ferrari, Fry, whatever the hell that name is? Who is it? Oh, he's a chef? Okay, I'm gonna have to look him up. He's a cook. He's a chef. Two masks now. There goes the toilet paper supply. Thanks for making, oh, you are welcome. Thanks for making me laugh. I needed this today. I've had a, a, a little, a bit of a rough one. Oh no, I'm talking about me. I'm embarrassing. I'm embracing it. Oh, you, oh, I see. You're embracing it. Well, a lot of women really like the gray hair and the beard. Nothing wrong with salt and pepper. Silver Fox, the hell out of it while owning it. That's right. You betcha. God, there's a host of some Food Network program. Okay, I'm going to have to go look him up. I got to find out who this is. Guy, the Food Network guy. You guys are just all over this, aren't you? Good thing about gray hair is it's still hair. That's right, Dancer 2024. No. My grandma used to say, not only made a few beautiful heads, the rest he covered in hair. <laughs> Your grandma was mean. <laughs> what about me? We had snow mixed on West 11th. Food Network guy. He's on the Food Channel. I'm sorry I didn't look over here. Means if you can cook, you are perfect. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting, catching up here. Diners, guys, grocery games, you guys are hilarious. I really like you. Guy tours restaurants on television show, did a show on Soup Nation. Okay, I, I think I did. Doesn't he have more spiky hair and a little bit fatter? A lot fatter? He's a chef that does the drive-in food show. He was in Oregon not too long ago. Your color is beautiful, and if anyone says differently, they are just jealous. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you hear that? That's what she said. <laughs> I wish I could say that when I get them coming in. Um, oh, had to governor. I know. I yeah. They're calling me. Guy has been in Eugene. Um, yeah, our snow has melted. I'm glad I started watching you. Been having a rough day too, needed the laugh. Chris, we all do. You know what? We all need um, to, we all need to laugh a little and smile. You know, I mean, the world is just too fucking serious right now. And, <clears throat> and I'm, I, it, I'm just tired of it. I'm done with it. Um, and you know what I should do? Um, do you guys care if I like, left you with kind of a cool story at the end. Um, like I, I'm really going to go get my hair cut. Um, <clears throat> so a long, long time ago. Um, so, cause, cause, okay, so here's why I want to do this. Because these people were bitching at me today. And they were picking. And they were acting like I was just using this to, to um, build my brand. And, and that kind of pisses me off. Because they don't know me. That's not who I am. So I want to tell a nice story at the end to end on. And it's, it's a sweet story. It was years ago in Cottage Grove. A young man um, was dying of uh, leukemia, I think it was. And so the whole town was turning out to do blood tests to see if anybody would match, be a match for a blood transfer, transfusion. Um, so I was down there covering the story and um, all these people were coming into Cottage Grove and, and doing this for this young man. And he was there and they're all there giving blood samples and stuff. And um, they got down to the end and this was prior to my cancer, prior to a lot of stuff. And I was not into giving blood. Um, I don't like needles. Now I don't care because I've been poked so many times that I'm like a, a whore. Um, and, uh, he, he, they came down and they had one more sample left one sample left for this young man and he's dying basically and um i they said we we have one more sample we could do one more blood sample and there's nobody there there's no one waiting there's no one out there so i'm out in the street trying to get people to do it you know because i don't want to do it you know and finally um the kid looks at me and he and he says um yeah we just have one left and i said oh i'll do it i'll do it and I wasn't overly gracious, but I wasn't mean, but I was just like, yeah, he knew I didn't want to do it. Um, and so I did it. And um, um, 
turns out it, not, nobody was a match and he died. And probably, it's probably maybe five or six months later, somehow I ran into his mom somewhere. And she walked up to me and she said, you're Rick Dancer. And I said, yeah. And she goes, my son was so-and-so. And you were there that day. Uh, we were trying to take blood samples while he died. And I said, oh, I'm really sorry. And she goes, um, he wanted me to tell you when I saw you that he knew you didn't want to give blood. And that was a big deal that you did it. And he will never forget you for that. So that's why I do what I do. And when people come on and fuck around with my reputation and try to tell me and say that I'm doing things that I'm not doing and try to put words in my mouth and try to make me into some stupid fucking whore on, on the news, I get really, really, really irritated because that is not who I am. So if you're watching and you're out there and that's what you think, then you don't need to be here. You can leave because that's not who I am. And if you don't have the ability or the concern or the decency to start finding out who I am before you make accusations like that, get off my page. You do not need to be here. You will not have fun here. And if you're just a troll looking to try to torment me, you did this morning, but that's over now. You lose, you're done. That is not who I am. And that is not who I'm gonna let you make me out to be no matter what you do. And I will not be quiet and I will not shut my mouth and I will not stop using my voice to give other people a voice because the reason it scares you is because it's a different voice than what you're giving. And you don't like that and it scares you and I'm sorry. But I am not the person who creates fear. You do that yourself. I'm here to give information and help people. And if you don't wanna be a part of that, then leave. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Thank you for being here. I'm going to.